Hi, my name is Drew Danielson, and I'm a student at the Guildhall at SMU, cohort 16, and I'm here to give a video tutorial on how to create a dust particle effect in UDK. The version of UDK we're using here is the May 2011 version, and the date today is June 5th, 2011. We start by creating a new particle effect and assigning whichever material you wish to use to it. And now we got to adjust the parameters of our particle effect because right now it's just uh, shooting through the standard emitter. So first let's click on spawn and we want to adjust the spawn rate. And that can be done so here. Here let's increase it to 50. And now let's go to lifetime. We want to set the maximum to 15 and the minimum to 4. Now let's go to initial size. Here we want very small dust particles. So let's make the max for the X, Y, and Z just a value of 3. And the min a value of 1 for each. Now let's go to initial velocity. First, let's change the max of x to 1, max of y to 2, and z to negative 1. Now, for the minimums, let's make x minus 1, or negative 1, y negative 2, and z negative 2. So now we have a lot of gently falling dust particles, but they're all coming from the same location, and we don't want that. We want them just free flowing around the air. So we're going to right click in the particle emitter column and select location, initial location. And this will add a new module where we can change where the dust particles spawn in. So, for the max value of each axis, let's make it pretty wide. Let's put in 500. And for the minimum, negative 500. You can adjust this however you want to fit your play space. But once we do that, then we have a pretty wide distribution of the dust particles and they still gently fall in the area where they spawn. So this is looking pretty good.